Today we're going to use Affinity Publisher to design a simple business card. Like always, you can download the source file from this tutorial, link will be in the description. Alright guys, we're going to design something for print, so it's super important to set up the document correctly. There is a profile for business card. As you can see, this is European size over here. So I will need to modify that. I will change from millimeters to inches. The common size is 3.5 and 2 in states, if I could remember. We keep it 300 dpi, that's important. We just need two pages, front and back. And let's change the color profile. Cyan, magenta, yellow and black, that would be perfect for printing. We will need to set up blitz and margins as well. Standard is 0.125, but you should confirm that with your printing house. All right, we're ready to create a new document. Here it is. As you can see in pages, I got two pages, so one will be the front and then reverse of the business card. I can zoom out to see them both in the same time. There's a bleed area outside this white artboard. This will be the area that will be cut out in the production phase, but we still need to kind of create a background there. We cannot keep it empty, so start from the bleeds like this. I will create a little decorative element here on the left side using shape tool. As you can see, I already draw rectangle. I can convert that to curves. It will allow me to modify this shape. I can even grab it in the middle of the line and bend it like this. I will duplicate that. You can use the shortcut Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Command C, Command V on Mac. I will try to align like two shapes to have some nice effect here. Maybe a little bit of transparency will give me a better effect. Maybe I will try 80% of opacity so we can see through the shape. Same here. I can select both layers at the same time by holding shift. This way I can modify the color of two shapes at once. All right, something like that will do. So we got this little decorative element here at the front. We will keep the front very, very simple. I will add effect to this layer as well, inner glow. Not bright enough, let's change the blending mode. More like this, a little inner glow. All right. So at the front of this business card, I will just have this little decorative element on the left and then logo of the company. I will just make some gimmick logo here. Nothing serious, all right. This is kind of placeholder when we were going to put the logo later on. So let me just assemble something really, really simple. All right, just sample logo like this will do for now. This is our front and on the reverse, there will be all details. So I'm going to copy this element over here, I drag while holding Option or Alt on Windows. This way you make a duplicate. So this similar element will appear on both sides. And now we can prepare some text here for the name. This will be the biggest element. We'll adjust the font size later on. First, I just want to 
see how it will look like maybe line below to divide it from position so we got name and position of this person All right, let's type something here, some sample position like graphic designer. Okay, we can modify fonts, of course. I think I will keep it simple. I like this. All right, that's the main element. Let's move it a little bit higher like this. And then we need more details, contact details like website, mail and phone number for this person. I like to type everything on the screen first and then I will relocate that, resize that. One more thing I want to add, I just paste a QR code. As you can see, this is just sample QR code. It's very modern way of designing business cards to put a QR code on them. Some people just can simply scan the code and go to your website or add you to contacts in some messenger very very handy very useful to put some kind of qr code linking to your contact to your website on your business card so i kind of recommend doing that it's why i keep this white space there on the right side for this qr code all right it's time to take a look on our font sizes now i'm just looking at the top and i will try to adjust size this should be 12 for the name it will depends I want it to be exactly the same like this all right and then contacts details below i got more space now so i can make the qr code a little bit bigger easier to scan we can use our alignment panel here align to the right and also we can adjust spaces between them automatically all right let's move it here don't move your elements too close to the margins okay so maybe something like this let's duplicate this decorative element one more time like this I will use one more copy so I can make this pattern even more interesting here on the right side. Using Not Tool to adjust the curve. And are very nice built in vector tools in Affinity Publisher. Very helpful. All right, next thing icons i'm using free to use icons from font awesome set it's free to use set they got more than i think 1600 icons that you can use for free so just search for font awesome you can get it in front of the font you can also download svg file for each icon like this so i'm going to place them around here Modify the size and the color of each icon to match my text. One more for the website. Again, we can use align tool. 
and our business card is almost ready. Just a few little changes and I think we are ready to export our final document. I think I will stick with the black color here. This will be small print, so maybe the gray is not the best idea. A little bit to the center. All right, we got our information here. Name, position, phone number, email, website, and also QR code. In the front, just a logo and this decorative element. Keep it simple. Okay. We just finished with our business card. Everything was set up from the beginning. So we got bleeds, we got margins. Now we can just simply do some few little changes, like move this logo around, double check everything, check the spelling, check the phone number, and then you will be able to export your work. So at the top, file, export. For the printing, the PDF will be perfect, so pick PDF, keep it at 300 dpi and be sure you're exporting all pages with bleeds. And that's it, your printing house should be able to use that file to print your business card. If you want to pick up this template, the link is in the description. Alright, maybe consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you in the next one.